Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. In this video, I'm going to do the unboxing of uh, Yamaha AG06 uh, hybrid uh, uh, USB interface, audio interface uh, mixer. It's a six channel input mixer. And uh, uh, let me just open the box first, then I'll just go through the specification of it. Okay. Now I bought this mixer from Amazon for about 110 pounds uh, which is a really good price for a mixer that can support 24 bit uh, at a sample rate of 192 kilohertz uh, recording for two channels. Uh, okay. Now this is a new product uh, by Yamaha. And that was uh, introduced in uh, NAM 2015 and uh, I'm just gonna zoom in a bit okay so without any further waiting let's just open the box oh wow look very intuitive so this is the manual by the way, it comes with the uh, Cubase AL uh, download version as well. So uh, I'm sure the key, the license key must be inside the manual. Okay. Now it's a very small mixer as you can see and it's very neat. As I said, this is a mixer for uh, your DAW software, for your podcasting or for your live environment. And uh, it has got loads of uh, inputs and enough outputs. And I'll go through the specification in a bit. Well, the build quality is really good. I mean, it has got some weight what it is it's an audio interface as well it's a two channel audio interface or uh, you can switch from here just to record uh, as a stereo mix and uh, I believe the chases they are metal chases and uh, the top is metal as well it's uh, probably aluminium and uh, the build quality is really good and uh, now uh, Yamaha says that it comes with their uh, D pre uh, mic preamps and uh, uh, those preamps they are found in the highest range mixers of Yamaha uh, so this is a really good choice and as I said in this price range uh, none of the audio interfaces was offering uh, 192 kilohertz uh, sample rate recording uh, so uh, this wins by far uh, okay let's see what else is in the box Okay, there is a standard USB cable as well. And there's nothing else in the box. Okay, now this is a really small mixer. I'm planning to put it just right there, just beside the speaker. And I'll do the setup later on. Okay, so let's go through the, uh, through the inputs and outputs. Uh, so basically this is a uh, channel one is the mic input and there is uh, uh, 48 volt phantom power for condenser microphones and as I said the preamp is the Yamaha winning D uh, preamps D class preamps and uh, they are like really good preamps so you can connect a condenser microphone or a dynamic and uh, here is a pad to attenuate uh, the overall level so I believe if you press this, if you switch it on, it cuts down about uh, 26 dB. And then you have ga uh, got the input gain and now the knob, uh, the plastic, the knob material itself, it's really good. Uh, I, and, and moving it left to right, I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice feel. Uh, then you got like compression and EQ for this channel which you can uh, pre-configure using a, a AG DSP application that's available to download from Yamaha. 
uh, website uh, so once you download that application you, you can uh, predetermine the settings uh, or whatever settings you will put and configure it to this port uh, then then once you switch on uh, it will uh, assign those settings to uh, this channel uh, then you got uh, effect basically this is a reverb again uh, you can configure the reverb settings uh, from the AG DSP application which uh, I'll uh, demonstrate in part 2 once I'm doing the setup uh, of this uh, mixer. Uh, then you got channel 2 uh, which is again uh, a XLR or TRS uh, input and uh, you got the hi z guitar interface as well to use it with in uh, instruments or if you don't want to use it with instruments and you want to connect another microphone then just unpress this which is basically it changes the level uh, of, of the input and uh, then again you got a pad uh, which attenuates uh, 26 db uh, and uh, again you got the input gain for this channel and then you got a amp simulator uh, so basically it's a amp effect and which again I'll demonstrate uh, once I connect this mixer I mean I don't have a guitar electric guitar with me at the moment uh, but once I'll do then I'll show it to you and then again this is the reverb uh, for this channel and then uh, this is the overall uh, volume uh, for this channel then you can connect your uh, uh, keyboard here uh, your analog keyboard uh, left and right and again there is a gain uh, if you press uh, it, it's low if you unpress this then it's high again you got the overall output volume for this as well uh, for this channel uh, then you got uh, phono left and right inputs uh, you can connect external uh, CD DVD or your iPod uh, here and again it gives a knob uh, to apply uh, high or low gain and that's channel 5 and 6 and uh, yeah there is a output volume for this channel as well so there is the output and uh, then you got stereo out left and right uh, jacks uh, which I believe if you want to connect a second mixer like this one or, or any other one you can use these ports to connect uh, uh, an external mixer to this mixer then you got a foot switch uh, 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 output port here then you got your monitor out left and right and your headphone out and uh, here is the power button just right here and then there is a, 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 a peak level uh, and signal level meter here as well there are four lights uh, so that's really good uh, for left and right channel and uh, then you got your uh, monitoring output volume both for uh, your uh, monitor speakers studio monitor speakers and for your headphone monitoring you can individually apply the output volume to them and uh, obviously you can monitor the entire mix whatever is connected to these inputs or if you just press this then it just monitors channel one and two okay uh, now here comes the really good part for this mixer uh, if you're using it for podcasting let me just if you're using it for podcasting or webcasting you can directly connect your desktop headset here which goes into microphone and headphone and uh, you can do your podcasting again there is an auxiliary input here as well to connect your mobile phone or iPod or Google Chromecast audio device here as well you can connect here as well or here it's up to you and uh, uh, this is the audio interface bit uh, if it's switched to dry channel 1 and 2 then channel 1 and 2 they go to your DOS software as individual channels and uh, you are and they both are capable of 24 bit 192 kilohertz uh, recording individually on each track and it's like 2 in and 2 out uh, second switch is input mix uh, which means that uh, 
whatever is connected to these inputs it will go to the computer to your DAW software and then your DAW can record it as one stereo channel and then there is a loopback function um, which is not recommended for DAW software as you'll get your audio so if you're doing podcasting webcasting and you whatever you're playing on your computer you want to mix uh, that with whatever is input into these channels with whatever is playing on your computer then loopback is the feature uh, you can use uh, so guys uh, that was it and uh, I'm really happy with it and uh, so far the build quality is really good uh, now another good feature about this audio interface slash mixer is that you can connect it to iPad uh, so I believe if you got a lightning to um, USB adapter for your iPad 2 and uh, uh, onwards uh, I mean it, it's not compatible with iPad 1 so if you got iPad 2, 3, uh, 4, Air, Air 2 or Mini even uh, then you can connect it uh, connect this mixer to the iPad and download any DOS software and uh, just record uh, your mix uh, it's uh, USB powered this mixer so you don't need any external USB adapter for it you just connect the USB 2.0 cable uh, to your computer and the mixer will be uh, on uh, if you want to connect it to your iPad uh, for recording then you connect the external uh, uh, adapter uh, to this mixer and uh, then the USB goes to uh, the iPad using the iPad lightning uh, uh, camera kit adapter uh, so it's a really really good feature and uh, yeah uh, there is a Kensington lock here as well so if you want to lock down this mixer so it's a really powerful mixer for the price and it's really compact build quality is good and as I said it has got Yamaha D pre my preamps so you can't go wrong at all this has this has the power of the most expensive yamaha uh, mixers out there okay so in <clears throat> in second video i'll uh, do the setup with the DOS software and uh, i'll upload it soon as if you have liked this video please click on the like icon and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you bye